it's Lauren with Beadbox Bargains, and today we're going to look at the new upcoming items that will be on our website, beadboxbargains.com, starting today, the 14th, through Friday the 18th. So this is what we're going to be working on this week. This is a sneak peek. These items are not on the website yet. You'll see some of them today. Well, the first ones might be by the time we get all this recorded and on the YouTube channel and whatnot, but <laughs> a bunch of the things will not be shown yet. So if you don't see it yet on the website, don't worry, it's coming soon. So to start off, we have some really fun gemstone beads. These are dyed quartz. I love that steel blue color. Really, really pretty. We also have some multicolored dyed quartz. Now these are designed to look like tourmaline, I think. They've got those colors, but to be very clear, they are a dyed quartz. They're just super pretty. I love those colors together. They looked pretty fall to me. Also, these would be good like holiday colors. Just a cute strand. And these are the half strands. So they're pretty inexpensive. We have a smaller mixed strand of those uh, colorful quartz beads too. We also have some red quartz, which would be fun for the holidays. So pretty. Very, very cute. I like the colors. They're, they really do take the dye so nicely and just give you some great jewel tones there. And I love that steel blue also. Ooh, we have some pretty faceted stones in too. So these are, um, these are Appetite. They do appear to have been dyed. They are beautifully faceted. Look at those cubes really really pretty and you can tell that they're dyed because the color is just a lot more uniform than you typically see with appetite but they're very nice um the fastening on them is absolutely stunning and there's the really pretty i do love that color blue we also have some aventurine here's some green aventurine classic again very fine fastening on there so sparkly and some really pretty pink aventurine and I love all the creamy tones in this batch you almost get some that are like really peachy white and then you have some more of the classic peachy orange and the pink tones as well and oh look we have a stray quartz bean on this strand interesting but some really pretty aventurine there and some green appetite which um, is a really a fun stone because it has just a little bit of a softer green than a venturing a little more teal a little more on the blue green spectrum and again just beautifully faceted super pretty and these are natural so you get that all those different colors in there naturally Okay, now I'm going to show you a stone I've never had in before, and I've been doing some reading on this because it's so interesting. So this is called Bumblebee Jasper, and that's a trade name. It is actually a form of calcite. It has pyrite in it, which causes the uh, dark spots, and then it also has realgar, which makes these bright yellow-orange instances. Now, the interesting thing about realgar is that it is, or it, it contains arsenic so um the cutting they have to be really careful when they cut this gem you don't want to inhale it and i would also um while it is generally like this is polished so it's not raw it has the polish over it um and it's generally considered safe to handle and wear while it's polished but just a just an extra note uh definitely keep these out of reach of kids own pets um and i just wanted to make you aware of that people use bumblebee jasper and wear bumblebee jasper but yeah i just thought that was super interesting it's a really cool uh really bright yellow orange mixed in with the grays and i will say there's not a ton of the orange in this strand um some of the other specimens that i've seen have a lot more of it um you just got a little bit here and there and again it has been polished and sealed I just, yeah, was doing some reading on that because I haven't had Bumblebee Jasper before and came across that information and wanted to share. Um, and these are fun. So these are synthetic. These are a uh, glow-in-the-dark strand. They're finely faceted. They are made with glass, and they have, like, a uh, glow-in-the-dark powder in them along with this orange color. They glow green. 
I don't know, if, I'm sure I can't show you under the studio lights, but we'll do our best to see if we can get a picture on the listing that demonstrates their glowing capabilities because it's, it's pretty dramatic. Um, you know, they're like, the, you charge them up under light, then they glow green in the dark for a little while. And they're just so sparkly and fun too. The orange made me think a little, it's like peachy orange, but it made me think of Halloween. And I just, I don't know, I thought they were really cool. So we also have some petrified wood, which is, oh my goodness, one of my favorites. I love, love, love the natural earthy colors of these beads mm. and the natural patterns. Every strand is going to be unique, but all these like wonderful caramely fall browns and like the slight grays, it just, it makes me so happy. So, so happy. Mm. Love it. All right. So those are, I think that's all of our faceted gems here. We also have, these were just cool and I liked them. These are an electroplated lava stone. So it's a natural volcanic rock and it's been given this wonderful matte rainbow iris. And I think it looks like coral. It's got all those uh, wonderful textured bits in there and surface texture. And it's just a really fun strand. All right, I'm gonna clean these up and we're gonna take a look at some agate and some crystal. Okay, up next we have some dyed and heated agate strands and these are very stripy agates. They've got a great polish. These are gonna be um, about a seven and a half inch strand, I believe. I will get out my ruler before I make that listing and make sure, but they are so cheerful. I love those colors. You've got the orange, you've got the yellow. Here's some dark blue. Ooh, here's like a golden yellow. So this is more like a yellow orange. So we've got like a bright, bright yellow, more of the mustard yellow, which I do love. Ooh, look at these blue green. Those are stunning, like a white blue, I guess. They look like the ocean. Some really pretty black agate. So glossy, you've got some white banding and patterns mixed in, and so shiny. Amazing and some brown too, which I love for fall, that like coffee color, like coffee and cream. So this is some really fun colors of agate that we have coming up on the site. We also have some crystals this week, including this fun cylinder shape, which I hadn't seen before really in this size. And I really like the pink opal glass there. So gorgeous. It's a very nice strand. And also some orange, great color for fall. Really, really like that, the sparkling transparent orange. We have some bicones back in this uh, Capri Blue AB. We've been sold out for a little bit, so we have some of those in. And some fun crystal like triangle beads. It's like a chunky triangle. Look at that, it's so sparkly in this nice slate blue color. Very sparkly. We also have some really pretty um, jade finish crystal beads. So what that means um, when you see like a Caribbean blue jade name for our crystals, we use that to refer to this semi-translucent or semi-opaque color where you can kind of see through it. It's not quite an opal because it uh, glass because it doesn't have like that multicolor shine to it. It's just like fairly transparent, but not totally. It, it's slightly opaque. And that's what the term jade is gonna mean in crystal bead names on our website. And here's some of the cornflower blue jade. And I guess it's actually the aqua blue jade. This is the cornflower jade blue. It's almost like a lavender purple with that AB over it, but it's not quite. And here's the like capri blue jade. Look at that, that's gorgeous. So yeah, those are really pretty. And we have just a couple strands left we did put this one in a bundle. Um, so we're almost out of the peach opal AB, but the ones we have left will be available this week as well. All right. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting something. We also have some triangles coming in. Now I really like these. These are a mixed triangle crystal bead strand. So very sparkly. You've got grays and blacks and whites in this strand. Here are some greens really pretty color combination there. Again, that 
um, fun, really super sparkly triangle shape. Here's some yellows. So pretty. I love like the yellow green in there of the peach. Ooh, and this is a nice strand. Look at this. It's like pink, purple, peach, gold. I really love those colors together. Makes me happy. All right. So these are our crystal and agate beads. So we are listing so many pendants this week. We got an incredible shipment of pendants and I am super duper excited to show you all of them. There are a lot. So, and I'm going to show you a couple of some of them because, um, with the natural gemstones, there's a decent amount of variation in the batch. So let's get ready to take a look. All right. We have so many fun pendants. I'm going to start out with a couple that we've restocked by popular request. And that is these kyanite stick pendants. We have the kind that has the little swirl on top and the kind with the sun emblem. So these are both set in a copper finished zinc alloy and um, there's going to be a ton of variation because kyanite varies a lot but they're so cool to me they almost look like dragon scales which uh yeah it's really fun i don't know if you're uh the early aughts it makes me think of dragon tales which my siblings always watched i wish i wish with all my heart etc anyway i love kyanite it's almost it's always magical looking with that metallic shimmer we've got so many cute metal pieces coming in Look at these. These are like a little wreath pendant. They have a tiny link so you could add a little dangle in the middle. I just think they're darling. So these are a cubic zirconia and I believe they are 18 karat gold plated. Um, but I will verify that of course um, with the manufacturer's uh, details before when I make my listing. And another thing, another similar one. Look at this. These are so cute. These little leaves have got like almost a little slide bale on the back. So much detail. Look at all those Peve set cubic zirconia. Ah, they're so sparkly. It makes me happy. I love leaves. And these are just way too cute. We've also got these teeny tiny little cubic zirconia, like little leafy branch charms. Let those not make the sweetest earrings. I think they're just so pretty. Oh, and I love this one. Look at that. So this has enamel accents. I believe it's also 18 karat gold plated brass you've got these sparkly little cubic zirconia like falling bits on it it just is such a pretty fall maple leaf with those little sparkle accents i just i loved it so much i love the enamel work on that too it just looks like fall to me and i love it and here's a really cute cubic zirconia leaf we have a couple similar styles here um i'll show you these come with an attached jump ring and they are sold individually. And I believe these are gold and platinum plated, but again, I will always confirm that. And um, it, the listing will tell you, we will always say like 18 karat gold plated brass, if it's real gold plated, if it's just a gold finish where it's like the color gold, but not actual gold, um, then it will not be in the title. It'll be like comma gold to tell you what color it is. So if you see the 18 karat or 16 karat mark or a 24, you know, we'll mark it if it's real gold plated. And the same for, goes for platinum and rose gold. All right, and look at this piece. This piece is a really cute, like leafy vine with a little drop, little cubic zirconia there. Drop as I drop it. Um, and I love how it's got the three little marquee crystals at the bottom and then a little teardrop. It's so delicate and lovely. And we also have, here are those other similar leaves that I was talking about. We've got this kind that has a uh, slide bale instead, and they are in bright colors. Look at those, so gorgeous. And then we also have these that are sold two per bag and they are a slightly different gold finish. And, um, but they're very similar to this leaf, but they don't come with the jump ring. These look like they're the 18 karat gold. This might be a like 24 karat gold, or it might just be the gold finish where I could have that backwards. It's hard to tell with the bright lights in here. I will mark it all on the listings. They will be marked correctly. And look at these. These are, again, similar to this leaf with the layout and the overall shape, but these are sold um, by a bag of two and they have a top loop instead of that like slide bale 
So it just depends what you're going for. These look super cute strung because you don't have that loop and they, you know, they hang straight on like that. So they're super cute bracelet charms or necklace, you know, however you want to use them. Um, so if you want to know the difference between a charm and a drop is largely academic, but the way I define it and the way I usually try to use it on the website is if it has a top loop that you would attach with like a jump ring or something, I usually refer to it as a charm. And if it has the kind of hole that you would string on a string and it would look right face on, I usually would call that a drop. I don't know if that's an industry thing or if that's just how I, what I say. We also have some other really fun leaf shapes. Okay, look at this pendant. These are a little pricey, but I absolutely adore them. Also, I do want to call out <laughs> if there's a little buzz in the background, I apologize. Our neighbors are doing their lawn work today. So we couldn't really wait for them like we do for a train. But anyway, I thought this pendant would look super cute with these little pieces too, or by itself. It's just absolutely gorgeous. All those Pepe set cubic zirconia. Ugh, it's stunning. Slightly curved. Just look at all those crystals so gorgeous. Here's another one that I just fell in love with, this little triple leaf pendant. It's got a big old slide bail on that one. And all those little like baguette cut uh, cubic zirconia are just so shiny. Just so cute. I kind of went a little crazy with the sparkly leaves, but they were sparkly and their leaves. So I, I just, I couldn't say no. Here are some silver drops that are similar to these, but a slightly different shape. Tapers to a little bit more of a point there. And again, sold per bag of two. Oh, and these are so cute. These teeny, teeny, tiny little like ivy leaves. They reminded me of like the leaves of Lorien and Lord of the Rings. Um, and they are sold per bag of two. And they're just adorable and sparkly. And again, I could not resist them. We also have some pretty little branches, which are again, um, gold plated and platinum plated with cubic zirconia. Just so delicate. I love, love, love those uh, designs there. And here are a couple um, that again, just kind of look like an abstract leafy shape, super sparkly, you'll get two and I love them. We're almost done with the metal drops. Just a couple more styles. We have this pair with the one larger cubic zirconia on them. I thought those were cute. Again, they'd make adorable earrings. And we have these as I drop them. I'm good at that. Um, these fun kind of more stylized leaves look a little bit oaky to me. I thought these were cool. They look like almost like folded flower petals or something with that big sparkly square cubic zirconia in there or diamond. Yeah, it's a square turned sideways. They're just, they're really pretty. All right, I think that's almost all of our um, cubic zirconia leaves. We do have this really fun mix. This is a random color just assorted mix of enameled leaves. And I love all the fall colors in here. You will get 10 pieces. They are randomly assorted. And I kind of thought it was fun how they hang with just like a little bit of the stem off there. And um, just a great mix of colors. Let's see, try to put at least one down of each color that's in this mix. There may be others. I don't know, I just grabbed a bag. <laughs> but some pretty fall pieces again completely randomly assorted all right oh we're getting into some gemstones i really 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 wanted to show you these so these are a uh, yanyuan agate they're going to be very similar to those peaches we had in over the summer and featured in the august box but these are little carved roses and they are so delicate and so pretty there's a lot of variation they have a little acrylic leaf attached here and the color will vary and the carving is just so well done on these they're adorable and i am slightly obsessed with them again um there's a lot of variation in the color and we'll take some pictures to show you the different ones in the batch i tried to find two that were pretty different to show you here so there we go love them so much 
And I thought this was cute, just a little green adventuring leaf pendant. Simple, sweet, very fall. All right, so there are a few more gemstone pendants, but I'm gonna show you some of these drop mixes first. So we have these flowers. So these have a um, dyed quartz bead at the bottom and then a little glass flower on top of that and a little acrylic leaf on top of that. And they've got a little loop at the top. They're on these little head pins. And um, yeah, you get 10 per bag. They are randomly sorted. Some of them, this one's a lot of the pinks and blues. Here's a bag that has, you just put a couple back in the bag so I know which bag it belongs to. This one has a lot more pink and yellow. So like every bag is gonna be different. There's a lot of variation, but they're super cute and they're at a super great price. You could make just five straight pairs of earrings like that or whatever you wanna use them for. I just thought they were adorable and really sweet for fall. All right, so I think that is, I can maybe fit like one more pendant. I'm gonna show you, that's almost all we have space for before I clean the mat off. But first I wanted to show you, look at these big old like inverted teardrop pendants. I thought these were just so different and interesting. I like the little embossed tree. These are a natural amethyst. You'll have a lot of variation. They are sold individually, but I wanted to show you two so you can see the amethyst will vary a lot. I just thought they were something a little different. I haven't seen anything that looks quite like that before. And we do have them in a dyed lapis as well. And there's some variation on those too. So, and you can tell it's dyed because the white here has picked up the blue. Um, in a natural lapis, you usually see a little bit more white patterning. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up and we will take a look at more gemstone pendants. There's so many cool pendants this week. I'm very excited to show you. Okay, let's take a look at some more gemstone pendants. I love these blue spot jasper leaves. They are electroplated. They've got this golden finish around the edge and they've got a kind of a thick polish to protect the stone during the electroplating process. I love that carved feather shape. It is detailed on both sides, which is really fun. We've got some other carved leaves. Here's some unikite. And I'll show you another one just to give you an idea of the variation that can occur. So these are top drilled front to back. They're smooth on the reverse side. And they've got some really fun detailing. Each one is shaped just a little bit differently. And um, the patterns will vary as well. So we also have red agate. These are dyed and heated, these leaves. And you'll have a strong amount of variation. You can tell this one's a lot lighter. This one's got a lot more of the red orange, but just a super glossy polish. Um, and again, that carved detail is so pretty with a smooth back. So we've got those. And we have some teardrops coming in. We have these natural agate drops. I love all the crazy variations of patterns you see in these. These are such cool agate. This, uh, these like natural stripes and you've got almost the or little orbicular patterns. Everyone is different, everyone is unique and they're all super duper fun. And um, I'm gonna set one of them back to keep myself situated here. These are going to be uh, peach moonstone with a little bit of the sunstone flex in some of them too. But look at that, the natural shine on these is so gorgeous. And you will again have a lot of variation in the exact color and pattern. Just lovely though. Got my little, there we go, get the bale um, to stop being upside down there. Yeah, and they do come with a little attached bale, which is nice. You've got enough room to put them on like a chain. These amethyst teardrops are a really lovely quality. Look at that. You still do have um, some fun patterns, a lot of linear patterns in these natural amethyst. But they're very nice color and very fun. Okay, so this was super interesting to me because I just noticed this when I was pulling out the samples. So this is what I ordered or what was supposed to be in this lot. This is a um, dyed lapis lazuli, lazuli, 
lots of I I always say the second part of that wrong and I always second guess myself and just get it wrong that's why a lot of the times I just say lapis it's a little secret but <laughs> so it's supposed to be dyed lapis um and then I'm gonna have to go through the bag and separate them out because look at this this is dyed howlite this is lapis and this one is howlite and you can tell the difference look at them together very different color blue you see how there's a lot of white showing through here they also feel really different this one feels a lot more like a like a marble like a countertop um because it's howlite and look at the back too you see those crisscrossy designs that is like classic howlite patterning where um this is you got those pyrite flex they're metallic which show up in natural lapis so this one may not even be dyed I'll have to look at the other ones to tell because you have some of the white showing through there you've got the gray like this is a genuine lapis this is not and it was supposed to be so I'll be having a word with the factory and I will be looking through and separating those out into two different listings because we're not gonna we're not gonna mix them together when we sell them you can see also there's like white there's a lot of white showing through and lapis can have some white in it but this is not the type of patterns and swirls see those lines running through yeah this is definitely um you see how it's a lot more um again kind of that more like modeled pattern a little grainy uh ish but you don't have those strong linear um how light inclusions in the natural lapis so yeah we'll be separating them out into two different items and we'll see how many of each were in that bag. It'll be interesting. Um, so, and then we have a couple of Amazonites. Um, we actually, these were in a bundle, so they may all be spoken for. I don't want to get your hopes up. So we'll leave those out. Yeah. I just, they came in and we had those Amazonite beads. And I just, I'm like, I have to put these in a bundle. Look at these. So these are a um, cut glass crystal. And they've got little sparkly rhinestones. And this super fun, swirly, uh, silver finished metal uh, setting. And you've got a nice hole at the top too. We have them in this light blue and also this gorgeous deep emerald. And you'll get two per bag. They were such a good price and they're so different and just fun that I had to grab them. So we'll have those this week. I have to make some room because y'all, we have so many amazing pendants coming in um we did get um a cross pendant in with some gorgeous cubic zirconia accents so i like that one um and we have some christmas themed stuff coming in it seems like it's about time to start getting that up on the site so you can get ready for all those november craft fairs etc so i love these they are um crystal beads you got this little metal star bead at the top you got like a stack of crystal beads on this eye pin and then a dangly crystal underneath and then like this wire cage around it so they look like little christmas trees they're so unique and so fun i thought they'd be adorable earrings and um they will because they get shipped in a bag you may have to bend them around just a little bit to get them to hang straight after you get them but they're really easy to straighten out i just didn't want to call that out and then we also have these look at these little crystal christmas trees so these are made with again that little metal star on the top you've got these top drill discs on all the sides little rondelle on the top and bottom they're too cute again just something very different and festive and get ready for the christmas rush coming next month also on the winter and christmas side of things we have this little set of three you'll get one of each color little adorable beaded snowflakes so these are made with seed beads and crystal bicones and they're super sparkly they are handmade they have a jump ring through the top bead and um yeah you'll get a set of three a green one a pink one and a blue one i just thought they were so sweet very very cute um we have a lot of fall pendants still as well we've got this really pretty leaf with this little turquoise accents thought that was fun and also look at this this beaded butterfly wing pendant there's the loop at the top so you've got some rose quartz here and then seed beads coming down the side thought that was really really cute and 
also a lot of cool gemstone pendants. I love these triple pendants that have the teardrop, the oval, and the round. We have unikite here. Here's an amethyst. They're just such nice quality too, especially for the price. In red jasper. Ooh, that is really pretty. I believe that is aventurine. It looks like it might be dyed. I'll have to take a look. And tiger eye. Love that shape. Those are also gorgeous. And they are set in that um, copper finish. I believe it's brass. And they have a nice sized bale at the top. All right. I think maybe we can fit a couple more. But only like one or two. So we'll do these two small ones. These are really fun. It looks almost like marcasite. They've got these sparkly rhinestones and then um, you've got this marquee shaped green aventurine with like the little heart shaped leaves i just thought those were sweet there's green aventurine and then we also have it in lapis and this is a dyed lapis but again you can tell it's genuine because it's got those pyrite flex and the patterns are correct for the stone all right i'm gonna pick these up real quick and um, we will look at more pendants. Okay, so we have some really pretty crescent moon pendants in. So these are a filigree copper finished metal and then you've got a little gemstone oval cab on the sides. This is quartz crystal. Here's green aventurine. An amethyst and these will all vary somewhat with the natural gemstones. Here's tiger eye. And then we've also got a silver one, like an antique silver in the quartz. I just thought those were so cute. We have so many cute gemstone and metal pendants in. I like this style too with little dots and the fancy little leafy bit there. And then you've got a teardrop, an averted teardrop. So we've got rose quartz, looks like. And then green aventurine, that one looks natural and some amethyst look at that try to find a way to make these all fit there we go and also we have um the black onyx which is super pretty just that glossy black and a tiger eye i love the golden chatoyan banding on that and we also have sil some more silver. I like the antique silver here too. We have these, um, we have just this like lacy metal setting and then the larger oval cab in the middle. So this is your black onyx. And I wanted to show you several of the unikite because this batch does vary a lot. So here you've got a lot more of the rosy pinks. Here's one that's all, like entirely green. And here's a really light one which I thought was interesting with just a little bit of the red and pink. So you get a lot of variation in that batch and we'll make sure to add variation photos on the listings as well. This one's probably your most traditional unikite, but because it varied so much, I wanted to make sure you saw some of those others. And here's a tiger eye. And rose quartz. And here's some spectrolite. You've got just a little bit of silvery shine on there. Hopefully that comes through the camera. And then the amethyst also varies a lot. You've got some cool chevron patterns in a lot of them. Um, so there's a couple just to give you an idea. Um, there's a lot of differences. I really like the bales on these too. They're just kind of fancy and they've got that little cutout at the top, which is cute. Just thought those were nice. And then you have some red tiger eye, which is tiger eye um, that's been heat treated to create that deep red color. And these will vary too. The direction of the bands varies and they're just really, really gorgeous. It's a nice quality. And the banding on those is absolutely beautiful. Looks almost like fiber optic glass. All right, so we've got some really interesting and unique super big pendants coming in too. They're definitely a little out there, but I couldn't resist them. You could do all kinds of different and fun things. Um, probably the, the smallest one here 
is really cool. This is Kyunite and Labradorite. So you've got like that kind of like dragon scale shine at the top. And then each Labradorite can be a little bit different um, with its flash here. This one is a super blue flash. Look at that. So they're all different and unique. This one's a little blue too, but it's a lot more linear patterned. I'm trying to, there you go. Maybe you can see it there. Um, so they're all different, but you've got, yeah, the Kyunite slab on the top and then this little like wave shaped Labradorite underneath and on the back you have a little moon and star. I thought those were fun. Again, just something different. Okay, so I'm going to pick these up and we're going to take a look at some more big pendants. Okay, so here's another really interesting super big piece and you can make a very much a statement necklace with it or you could even use it for like a um, sun catcher you could have like put dangles hang dangles from these holes here so many things you could do you've got an amazonite and a green adventuring round cab and it just looks like bubbles to me it's kind of playful and fun you've got this welded uh copper finished i think it's a zinc alloy you've got the little round balls as accents which again it just makes the whole thing feel very bubbly so it's a super interesting and unique piece and i just thought it was something a little different here is a labradorite piece that is sort of similar you've got two rings at the top on that top bubble i really do think this would make a super cool uh sun catcher or it's definitely a statement you've got a little bit of flash there every each one of the Labradorites is going to be different. Um, and you've got like these long bars with like these to me, these are just like begging to have dangles attached to them. You, you could do some very different types of things. You could also turn it sideways if you wanted. I don't know. They were just very different. And sometimes I'm drawn to the unusual. Okay. So this is interesting. You've got um, this like scallop shell which I think is really cute. You've got a tiny one up here and then um, some sort of quartz like matte stone. I'm going to have to look at more than one of these to tell for sure what this is, but it, it appears to be quartz of some kind, possibly a composite. Um, I will take a look at that in the manufacturer information and make sure that it, it has the correct information on the listing because that is definitely very uh very unique it's really something different i like the uh i know the little tiny shell with the bigger shell again um i just think they're so cool and these i had these were just part of a closeout lot and my brain is not serving me so i don't remember what the stuff is i'll have to check on that <laughs> but it's a really cool matte finished uh looks like maybe a citrine or calcite or quartzy type thing that's very exact of me, I know. I'll make sure that the listing is a little better described than quartzy like thing. <laughs> but, um, the next batch of pendants, well, I'll show you this one first. We have these back in stock. We've had them before, and I love this leaf pendant. It's an antique bronze with that patina on it that gives it like that blue green finish. And it just has such great veining and a nice big hole at the top. So yeah, I like that pendant too. seems like it should go in the big pendants category. All right. So our last batch of pendants um, that we got in are these really cool, like filigree style round pendants. They're in that antique copper with three rounds, two little accents and a larger round in the middle. Here's an amethyst one. Here's another one to show you some of the variation. I'm gonna leave one over here so I know which bags go with which. Here's some tiger eye. Again, here's another one to give you an example of the way that these vary. And I love the banding on that. So this is an imitation turquoise and it does vary quite a bit. Some of them have a lot more of the patterning than others, but they are very pretty and I love that turquoise color against the copper is is very striking this one's just got like a little teeny tiny dot of matrix where this one's got much more crisscrossy stuff going on we've got some rhodonite these are lovely 
look at that you got a lot more pink on this one a lot more patterning on this one they're both gorgeous Ooh, the red jasper look at that so these are really pretty um, you will get some variation you can see this one's a lot uh, clearer this one has some more crisscrossy patterning pieces super super pretty and that brick red with the copper I just I love it and the course looks really pretty in this setting too some of them are going to be more crystalline some of them are going to be more cloudy um, you will see a lot of variation with these got some green aventurine which does vary a bit from light to dark here we go and that one's lighter and that one's darker these are both natural and let's see here we have some dyed lapis again and this one's got a lot of the pyrite going on and this is more of the white and uh, black and again, you can tell it's dyed because of the way that the white has picked up the blue color. So these are the um, cherry, quote unquote, quartz glass. And I thought it was really interesting. Um, there's a lot of variation with these, but the way that that reddish color works with the copper, I thought was really cool. And here is some snowflake obsidian, which will vary a lot. Some of them are more on the black and some of them are more on the gray side of things. And then unikite, which has some variation, but overall I would say probably less in this batch than we saw in the oval with the lacy edges. So, it's your more classic mottled green and pink although the levels of each of those colors will vary with the natural stone and then finally we have some howlite which is really pretty this is its natural white color and i'm just going to grab here i'll grab this so you can kind of see what i mean see the way that you have these linear crisscrossy patterns in it and just the polish too and the feel of it is like that almost like a porcelain feel it just it feels very different than lapis does. I don't really know how to explain it. I've just handled them both a lot over the last 20-ish years. Um, but you've got these, like, see the pattern, the way the patterns go up and down, the way the, the blacks and the grays look. Yeah, you can tell that it's the same stone. Even though it's been dyed. All right, so these are all the pendants that we're trying to get listed this week. Um, now, oh, there's one more. Sorry, I forgot. This one, there's also a blue gold stone. This is a synthetic man-made material. Look at that. It's so sparkly. It's like a midnight sky, and I love it with the copper, actually. This makes me want to make a blue gold stone and copper uh, project. It's gorgeous. Okay, so that's all the pendants. <laughs> and as I was saying, I'm going to do my best to get through all of these. We're slightly short-staffed this week. We've got some folks on fall break. So um, I may or may not get all the way through the, I'm like I may stop here or if I have time and motivation, <laughs> I've got, we have some beautiful uh, machine sort of check glass up next too. Friday, you can expect to see on the 18th, um, we're gonna try to get October's box extras live for you. So if you're a bargain bead box member and you've been looking to get some more of October's items, we'll be listing what stock we have left on, um, on the 18th. So, and if I can get through it all, I would like to get some check glass listed too. So I'll give you a sneak peek at that. Be aware, I'm gonna do my best to get up Friday. It may be Monday, we will see. All right, so the machine sorted check glass that we have coming up, um, probably Friday, it may be Monday, we'll see. No promises, but I'll do my best. Um, we have these adorable little faceted rice beads in this great pink color it's like rosalyn and um i really like that they're super sparkly little fire polish beads in a shape i don't usually see and you do get a bunch in that pack we've also got some faceted like 
kind of like a lemon yellow, like the lemon chiffon, kind of like a intense jonquil. Little faceted pony beads. And these are also fire polished. They're super cute. I really like them. It's like a yellow green sort of. And these are the two-tone like fire opal as it's known this color where it's got you've got the red and the orange together and it really does look like a uh, fire like little campfire colors or something we've also got some great little four millimeter fire polished rounds look at this it's a little opaque i guess it's kind of like a light sienna it's just such a great fall color i really love that brown you do have a bunch in this pack I think it's around 50 pieces usually in these five grand bags lots of really neat color i am leaving some in the bag just to make it easier to put away You've got some peach opal mm, so gorgeous i love that color and some um rosalyn with the ab finish look at those super cute and I'm sending them everywhere doing my best to kind of keep them in piles I won't hate picking up but <laughs> we'll see all right and these are like that champagne light light topaz champagne hmm. I love those super pretty so these are actually English cut instead of just your traditional instead of being fire polished these are pressed glass i love that color that like blue green opal mm, that is yummy although um as we always say at the warehouse and especially with that bumblebee jasper it's for beating not for eating some teeny tiny little i guess these are three mil look at these it's a little blue opal or like aqua opal, I guess. Yeah, this must be three millimeter. You get a ton in there. So sparkly and tiny. I love that color. I'm gonna love picking these up, but I'm gonna put them against that white background so you can see them. Aren't those pretty? You know, that's a, that's a big bag. Some pale, pale light sapphire. And again, with these four millimeter, you're going to get about 50 pieces per bag. I'm just showing you a couple. And some light amethyst. Thought those were pretty. And these are interesting. So these are a little teeny tiny cathedral bead that we've sorted by weight they are i believe they're rosalind with a pink or um, pink with a silver finish on them like an antique silver but they're so tiny and so sparkly they're like teeny 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 little cathedral beads but they're super cute and you do get again a good number in that bag so i like those also um back in stock i believe we've had these we had these in before we managed to get more of those little vintage pillow beads these did sell out pretty quick last time these are the pink opal version and then we also have this lavender opal i love the pink opal it's one of my favorite check glass colors oh and we have the green opal back too that's good i wasn't sure if they were gonna be able to send me more of that get that purple opal oh my gosh so pretty Jet glass makes me happy. It's just gorgeous. Look at those. More of the sea green opal too. And I think those are 10 gram bags. There's a lot in them. We have some um, bright red English cut also. Should be super cute for fall or holiday designs. Put them kind of up here. And we also have... Um, some of these nuggets back in stock which are again great for fall we've got that orange satin almost has a cat's eye look to it love that and then this like super bright bright like scarlet orange in this fun little square shape 
I really like that shape. It's so interesting, very vintage, very fun. And then also the chip shape in the opaque cherry or coral red, whichever one you want to call it. It's very pretty. Very vivid and bright. We've also got some pink satin. It's like, these are interesting because they're not just pink satin. They're like pink and brown. Thought those were cool. Very much a like almost tiger eye look to them. Very shiny satin beads. I guess maybe it's like a yellow, like a golden yellow orange mixed with the pink. But it's just very different. Again, very vintage. And um, I like things that are kind of unique. Things I haven't seen before. And then these, I think, I don't think we had this color before. Um, this is, again, those little pillow twisty beads in like that carnelian red, which is gorgeous. Very fall. All right. So also we have some little tiny bell flowers coming up that are just adorable. Look at these. These are like, looks like aqua blue underneath. And they've got a great little gold wash on them like a gold shimmer finish i guess more than a wash because it doesn't just settle into the grooves it's kind of all over the bead love them and then some really really pretty fall colors the gold shine i think this is the gold shine like red you can see it's like a very rusty color with that golden metallic edge to it And then we also have like a gold shine orange. Look at that. I, just, I think these are so cute, very fall. They're similar, but not quite identical colors. I'll put them next to each other so you can tell there. And they're just so cute. And then finally, we have this, um, I think it's like a metallic iris finish with a golden wash on it. And I love the rich, like purpley metallic color on there. And I'm running out of room. I'm gonna stick those over here. But that is about all we have coming with the check. We do have a few of these red hex beads. Look at those. Those are cute in that metallic red. Can you even see that? Yeah, a little tiny bit. And finally, some forget me not flowers in a gorgeous light sapphire AB. Look at that. Ah, I'm spilling them. Aren't those cute? I just love that color. Pale, pale blue with that sparkly AB finish. Yeah, set some right there. All right, so I will try to get these all done by Friday. Um, if I don't, they'll be up either Saturday or Monday or something. We'll see how, see how the week goes and how much I can get through it just myself. But, um, I'm gonna do my best and I will have hopefully all of these done at or around Friday maybe. We'll, we'll see how that happens. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek. This is pretty much everything we've got coming in. Um, this is all the new stuff we got in this week and I'm gonna list as much of it as I can. And we will have those box extras coming up for you on Friday as well. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. And um, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week ahead. Thanks again and happy beating. <laughs>